Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Leonard squad? Today, we're in the PTS. We are checking out Nut. <clears throat> Technically, I'm Newt. But uh, we're playing Nut, and we are going to go through her entire ability set, her passive included, see how it works, see what kind of combinations we can whip out, and, uh, and then we'll play a game, as always, if you guys already know all of Nut's passives and... Uh, abilities and stuff and you just want to skip this portion by all means do that um but for those of you like me who have no idea what's going on with this god i'm here to show you so her passive it's a lot of reading by the way it's a lot of scrolling i'm gonna i'm gonna dumb it down for the normal human being and uh make it a little bit easier to understand her passive is whenever she damages an enemy god or a minion i know it says enemy god but it also works on minions um, with an ability, you gain a stack of your passive, and a stack of your passive is 2% attack speed plus 0.1% per level, meaning at level 20, it's 4% attack speed per buff. Maximum stack 10 times. So every single uh, passive stack I get at max level is going to give me 4%. I'm going to have 40% attack speed with a max passive. Um, I'm going to spawn minions here just so I can show you guys uh, that it does stack off minions. Okay, I was lied to. It does not stack off minions. I guess they changed it from the patch notes to now. But Lurmy did uh, did mention that it, it works off minions. So either it's bugged or they changed it between the hour of patch notes and now. So I guess just go with enemy gods for now. But... That's all her passive does, basically. And then you see these little orbs right here. They're going to go up and up whenever I auto attack something. Every single auto attack, you see two of these little orbs are, are lighting up. And then I have four full balls. And what's that going to do is it's going to use my one. So when you activate your one, it's going to be this kind of targeter. Um, and you can deactivate it also, by the way. You can just right click and turn it off whenever you want. You don't have to use every single... Um, every one, I'm going to activate God mode and reduce cooldowns just for the sake of this. Um, but I'm going to activate the one and this middle auto attack is going to act as just an auto attack. It can crit, it can apply, um, like slows, you know, it, it can do whatever. I'll show you the crit chance now. So it can crit. And then the side auto attacks that you see here. They do very little damage, but they can do more damage. Obviously, I don't have like power built. Those are going to apply item effects such as Crusher and Heart Seeker. So you see here, it'll tick Crusher off for 16 and it'll Heart Seeker off for 45 apiece. Um, so if you hit all three, because this uh, this ability is called Convergence and they all converge at the, the, the tip of the auto attack. You can crit and proc Heartseeker and Crusher. Now, as you see, um, I only have one ball now. And basically what happens is when you use Convergence, which is your one, these little balls you see here are actually how many shots you get. You get one free shot like this. And then I have one passive ball so I can shoot one more time. It will take away that passive ball. Now, like I said previously, every time you damage an enemy god... Um, with an auto attack, you're going to get two stacks of that passive. So if I hit this twice, I will get my ball back because each stack of this ball is four things. It is one, two, three, and then four to fill it up. And then one, two, three, four to fill it up. As you see here, one, two, one, two, one, two, because you get two stacks per God you hit. Now this also, according to Lurmy, works on minions. So let's just go ahead and use these. And I will show you. So per minion, you get one stack instead of two. And you can Convergence, shoot through a bunch of minions, and gain a bunch of stacks, so you get extra Convergence auto attacks. So um, that's how that works, basically. You're just going to be autoing a lot, getting, getting your Convergence balls up, and then go in sicko mode with your Convergence balls. And then when it comes back up, you're doing it again. And that's basically how it's going to work. 
And you can see, by the way, I don't have much attack speed built at all. And I have 1.74 attack speed because my passive. It's pretty nuts. Um, her second ability has this targeter. Hold on. I'm going to use quick casting on all these so that I can <coughs> show you the targeter. The outer targeter is going to do a pulse and it's going to tremble them. Like, like if they got Bacchus burped. I guess you can't really see it on them because they don't move too much, but... You can see it there. It's going to tremble them for a little second. The middle ball is going to root them. And as you can see, sorry, wrong button. As you can see, this does do damage. It pulses out and does damage and does do item effects. The middle part does two, two points of damage, the initial hit and the pulsing hit. So obviously you want to hit the middle and you want to get that root because, um, you know, CC is good. And it's not much of a delay really at all. It's it's honestly pretty quick. You can almost just cast it directly on them. And um and it'll work. Oh, also, something to note about convergence, I just remembered. It goes through enemy gods. It hits each one of these gods. As you see for 303. Um So you can just like roll through everything if there's like an entire team fight in front of you you just you just own them good old like root and own so it's, it's pretty nuts it's pretty nuts obviously for duel this doesn't matter um but it does shoot through gods it does not go through walls um but it shoots through gods and shoots through minions so like if they're body blocking tower because your one does act as an auto attack you can shoot you know through them and hit the tower and um also if there's like they're hiding in the minion wave you can just activate this to shoot through the minions and hit them so the two super simple like i said it's a root with a pulse um if you miss the root the pulse still happens so don't worry about that and the three is like rom dash it is a omnidirection dash i guess not omni it's an eight-way directional dash um that you can do at any time it's a small little blink kind of like merlin flicker i'll show you here and you see that when i used it if there's an enemy god in range it's going to shoot out three projectiles so this circle around you um obviously it the circle comes from the point of where you're landing not where you're not where you're standing now but the point where you're landing which is why if i go backwards if i aim backwards you see that it's not gonna like the range is so much different and if i go sideways the range will be different again then if i'm just standing forward and you know again diagonally it's different so um you do have to it's gonna take a lot of getting used to especially if you're a new nut player but it will hit three gods if there's three in range it will hit the closest three gods to you and it will always split up if it has the option to if there's one god, go on, let me see. If there's one god, it's gonna hit all three, like I showed you there. If there's two gods, one of them is gonna hit get hit twice, or one of them is gonna get hit once. As you see. If there's three gods, then they're all gonna hit once. Now this thing does slow by 10%, and it can stack the slows. I'm I'm told. So when I hit this guy, that's gonna be a 30% slow. It doesn't last that long. Three seconds. Okay, it's kind of a long time, actually. It's a 30% slow. Um, and it's it's just... It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. It does not that much damage. It's mainly used as, like... Again, like a flicker or, like, a slow... To either chase or get away. Um, but the main thing it does is it resets your convergence cooldown. So if you see here... I'll, I'll put my convergence on cooldown and then I'll dash. When you dash, your convergence instantly comes off cooldown. Which means you can like you can have AoE auto attacks during a team fight a lot of times. Now, obviously, I have reduced cooldowns on, so it's not going to be as dramatic for you guys when you play this. 
Um, but that reset is a 100% reset that will always completely remove the cooldown of it. And um, it's pretty insane that you can like, like the burst is basically going to be, well, there's two ways to burst, right? There's the dash, slow, root, and then convergence while they can't move, which is a good way to do it. Or if you're like a really competent ADC player, you can convergence, dash to slow, root, and then convergence again. If you are really confident in the fact that you can hit convergence. So that's your thing. And then to top it all off, we have the ultimate. Now, as you can see, there's two circles on this thing. And um, it is a bit of an Atlas ult. It's a bit of an Atlas, or not Atlas ult, an Atlas pull. And what it is, is basically it's a black hole. So, I mean, the ability is called Skyfall, but it is black hole. You go up in the air and you have a timer. You see the little timer going around. The initial middle circle is that circle that's going to do all the damage. Um, the, the outer circle does do a little bit of damage, but it's almost nothing. It's not really worth using as damage if you can only hit the outer circle. Um, but what's going to happen is this middle circle is going to do damage and then the outer circle is going to pull all those gods in. I guess you can't pull those ones because they don't move, but it's going to pull all those gods in. Um, and I'll show you again here. I'll purposely, I'll purposely miss like the big thing. You can see it. They just get pulled into the center. Um, and as you saw there, the pull only did about 100 damage, I believe. Yeah, my ult only did 195. If you hit the middle section of it, then it's going to do a lot more damage. It is going to do 880. So, like, you can see most of that damage output is going to be coming from that middle section. Um, as you see here with the initial damage and the surge damage. Uh, and a huge thing to note about this, you do get really high movement speed while you're in the air. So it's pretty good for chasing. However, you always return to the ground at the place that you used your ultimate. So if I use it here, right? You see that pillar there? That's where I'm going to go back to. I'll alt and I'll return to the pillar. So it's really good for chasing. Like in conquest, you're standing behind a wall or something. You alt, you go over the wall, you throw that black hole down and then you, you teleport back to the wall. However, on the flip side, um, if you are in a bad spot, you can't actually use your alt to get out of that spot. What you could do, maybe, is like you're here and they're all around you. You like throw it there and it pulls them back. And then you dash this way with like slows and roots and shit to kind of self peel. But um, that's about really all you can do. So she's a very much like all in kind of god. Um very very cool to play very satisfying to play the slows the convergence the alt i mean like it's just so cool like if i hit this all three bots will get pulled yeah i mean it's just so cool to play dude uh so yeah that's her whole kit that's her passive that's how the convergence works that's how the three resets convergence and the autos fill the passive um and as you see here, by the way, this is your this is your uh, attack speed gain. The number inside this little gem. I don't think I, I talked about that, but whenever you hit an enemy god, it stacks. Every every time you hit an enemy god, you get one stack of it. Convergence, obviously the simplest way to stack it because you have two little balls. And each time one of those balls hits, you, you get your stack back. Um, Your three stacks it, your one stacks it. Even your ultimate stacks it. So... You know, when you're when you're in the midst of a fight, when you're in the midst of a fight, you're going to pretty much always have that 40% attack speed increase, which is just fucking huge and lovely. Um, but yeah, that's her abilities. That's her passive. That's everything about her. I'm going to go into... I'm going to go back to instant cast. I feel like she doesn't take that. She's like... Her two, it's kind of just like Uller three, you know, like if you know where you kind of know where things are going, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't really need. Yeah, 
you don't really need all the uh the whistles and bobs of of quick casting or normal casting you can just chuck her on instant cast she's pretty pretty easy like that man i actually fucking love the convergence although i will say it looks like it's doing more damage center damage reduction so your auto attack does get damage reduced by 35 percent but it's aoe so actually actually in duel this might not be that great i mean it's obviously going to be good because crusher and heart seeker proc on it but but it's definitely much more of a conquest ability but lowering your damage your auto attack damage by 35 percent isn't that great Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I'll see you guys in the game. Thanks for watching this portion of it. And um, I'll see you there. What's up, boys? We are getting into this game now to show off Newt in real life, real time action pack gameplay. Uh, I'm pretty sure, by the way, that her three does not hit minions. I'm pretty sure it only hits gods. If there's no god in range, it won't do any damage. So that is something to note that I didn't actually say out loud. I've kind of figured like it was, you know, I had, I had like an unspoken rule, I guess. Like, like people already knew about it, but, um, I am playing in a, in a play test or, a you know, the PTS server play test server. Um, this is a viewer of mine, ham not broke. If you guys ever want to be in a play test or in a video, I do oftentimes go to my Discord and ask if anyone wants to help out with a custom game every now and then. Um, so definitely come by. I will put a link to the Discord down below. Also, what's up everyone who skipped that portion? I am doing a subathon starting probably 8 a.m. this Friday, February 16th. It could last forever. Or could last a day. I don't know. Um, but it's going to be really fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. So if you guys want to come by. I'll also drop a link to the Twitch channel. Go make sure to follow. Put your notifications on. Um, you know, I'll obviously, I'll tweet out that I'm, when it starts. I'll put out a notification on Discord and on YouTube when it starts. But it's still pretty important to follow the Twitch channel if you haven't already. All right, so I don't think using Convergence here is going to do anything for me because it lowers my damage output by so much and it's not going to be on the wave. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to auto attack. And yeah, my three definitely did not do damage there. I'm just going to auto attack this down and get my passive up and running. I'll use my Convergence a couple times. Just a couple times. I'll save one or two little balls. All right, let's hit her with that slow and let's clear this wave. Um, so maxing convergence does seem like the best play because wave clear is super good with that. Like, look at this clear. And then you use the one you dash and you get instant clear again. All oh, horrific. You're going to dash. I'm going to converge you. I missed my root, unlucky. And yeah, I mean, that attack speed is actually really nuts. Actually really insane. I feel like you get so much attack speed with Convergence. I'm gonna dash in. All right, let's use the ultimate here. Pull her in. And let's see, I got dash here. Dash kills. Nice, dude. Insane stuff. Actually insane stuff. Like, this god just... She plays so smooth. Because that convergence... Like, yes, it lowers your damage. It lowers the, the center auto attack damage. Like, your actual auto attack damage. But it increases your attack speed, it feels like. It doesn't say that it increases your attack speed, but like it, it feels like it increases your attack speed by a lot. Nice. 
I'm just stacking my convergence here so I can clear wave really good. All right, wave clear. Nice, and now we'll just clear this. And it, you know what else seems really good about her? Is that even though she... She is a hunter, by the way. I don't know if I said that. She kind of seems like she would be a mage, but she is a hunter. Um, What's good about it is, like, her clear is immaculate. And a lot of gods, if they have really good clear, they have really bad finding potential. But because... Because, um... The three resets your cooldown on your one. You can use your one to clear three and then use your one to fight too. All right, let's grab, uh, let's grab his alt or something here. I missed full because I'm garbage. Let's hit through. Oh my God. I just auto attacked so fast that I killed his alt. I killed his alt before he could, he could even cast it on me. All right, check this out. Mm. Close, close, close. My mana seems to be an issue, I'll be honest. I am spamming, though. If he goes in the wall here, I might die. He is in the wall. I heard him. He's not in the wall. He was on the side. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I want this to be a competitive game. I told him... Well, I mean, if you're in the Discord, you saw what I told him. I just said, um, I said, custom lobby is open for anyone to join. My only request is do not give up, do not surrender, and try your absolute best. We want good videos. That's what I said. Okay, but there's there's no way I'm letting you do that. There's no way. Capitan? I, I will die. I will die on this hill. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Can't hide behind tower when my auto attacks go through everything, dude. They pierce everything. Oh, uh, you know, other than walls, obviously. You know what I actually feel like might be decent, too? Like, I'm maxing her one here. <laughs> but I also feel like maxing her two might be decent. Because it was kind of pumping numbies. Oh, okay. I don't know. After seeing the one clear the wave like that, I don't know if there's any other any other way to, to play this god. All right. He got horrific. I'm going to knock up and pull. Oh, so close, dude. So close. I think he's got alt here, probably. Oh, man. Quick thinking, quick thinking. On the run. Well played. Right, let's grab the Berserker Shield, get some more attack speed. I'm going to grab Executioner, get some more attack speed. And by the way... Because of my passive giving me so much attack speed, um, she is a very good Odibo Silver Branch user. If you go, you know, you can go Crusher and Heartseeker and you can do, you can do a full power build with her because she does get like basic uh, attack speed. Um, and like from her passive. So you can do a full power build and have the little orbs on your convergence really chunk away. But what I feel like might be the best build is just a normal Silver Branch build because her attack speed is so fast. Okay, he's in a wall. Let's use that. Dash on him. Use it again. Dude. That burst is insane. Like, my my three only did 60 damage, but it slowed him enough to keep him in range of my autos to just kind of chunk away at him. And my god, did they chunk. Well, 
Look at that, dude. I can just be like, like Omega hyper aggressive here. So aggressive. I root convergence. Blink in slow. And I got convergence again. And you have to, you have to back because I have all. Holy crap, dude. This God is nuts. This might be the only God in duel, like the only hunter in duel. I mean, that rivals, um, is an army in terms of like wave clear potential. Okay. He's going to use his horn shard. So I'm just going to back out here. Dash, get the slow convergence for some extra dam. Wait, I suck. Wait, I'm garbage. Wait, 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 hold it, hold it. Wait, hold on. Oh, yo, that dash, man. The flicker. Oh, my God. The flicker that resets the convergence and slows him. He dashes in. I juke the ability, slow him, and return fire. Like a fucking cannon, bro. Like an actual, like, nuclear cannon. Holy crap. That's insane, dude. That's insane. All right, my attack speed is 2.35. If I activate my one, my attack speed does not go up. I was wondering if it did, so I just figured I'd try it out. It does feel like it's faster though, right? Like it's not just a me thing. Predators pierce enemies, but, but not walls with the center of the dealing, side dealing. That always shoots at least once. May fire up the additional four shots. Two stacks for a damage an enemy god. May cancel at any time. Um, yeah, I don't know. You definitely get attack speed from that. Like, I don't know if that's an issue, like a bug or something, but you definitely get attack speed. Where are you going? Dash in, get the slow. Convergence shots. Root. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. You can't be mad at that. A horn shard to dash away. What does my oboe do? 114? That's actually kind of a lot. With oboe and golden shard, I'm not going to use my convergence on the wave. Instead, I'm going to root him and own him with this. Dash away. Slow him and own him again. Oh my god, man. Those auto attacks are impossible to miss. It's like, it's like free range fucking, man. It's free range fucking. How do you get away from that? All right. No big deal. No convergence. I dash. I've got convergence. I'm, I'm willing to fight you. Dash in on me. I dare you. Root. I missed the root. That's okay. You know what I didn't miss? My fucking uberware dude pow 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 dash dude the homing damage on the three is insanely good how much did that do by the way 205 how much is it supposed to do 35 per hit plus 14 so what is that 49 so it's supposed to do like i don't know about 150 for free by the way it's 150 just for juking an ability and you get your other ability back up that is so insane that is so strong man 
I'm gonna go Silver Branch here. Sometimes the situation calls for tough love. And I already have 10 stacks of Silver Branch, which is 30 power. So Silver Branch, just this build right now, Silver Branch is giving me 55 power for, for an item. Little, little slow. Little slow, my God, man. Bro, uh, my damage is insane. Yeah, my three hit for 152. The little orbs, like, so it hit nine times. Just the little orbs extra damage did 214. It's so good for clearing. He's getting owned by Obo, by the way. Yeah, Obo just did 730 damage to him. Holy fuck. Root. Convergence. Dash. Oh, man, I got silence. Convergence. Horrific. Yep. Yep. And then a uh, little Skyfall. See how much this does to Titan. 366 plus 132. Eh, not much. Not much. What an incredibly fun god, dude. What, like, I just want to play. I, dude, my, I might be addicted. <laughs> this god is so much fun to play. What the fuck? I kind of want to do a second video full power build instead of auto attack build and see if like there's much of a difference. Because I'm so addicted, I just wanna I just wanna lock in nut again. I just wanna nut all over PTS. On Valentine's Day, by the way. This is when I'm recording it. I don't know if I'm uploading it tonight. I probably will. But man, I just I'm trying to nut. You know what I mean? Holy shit. This guy's really fun. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. Um, if you find her super enjoyable or not. I on God, she is probably my favorite hunter. Like I what is there any other hunter that even comes close in terms of fun for me? Not AMC. On her is pretty fun, but I suck at him, even though I have 7,500 worshippers on him. So not for me, not for me, not for me, not for me. Mm, fun right now, but normally a pain in my ass. Not for me. Really fun. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Eh, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Dev, dev, banner. Hater. Hate that bitch. He's really fun to play. You know what? I think Nut is actually the most fun hunter in Smite. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, maybe a little bit broken. Yeah, maybe needs to be tuned down a little bit. Yeah, maybe can utilize the items way too well. Yeah, but fun. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the subathon. Um, And until next time, guys, peace.